Hello, fellow hunters, and welcome back to Call of the Wild. We are continuing our adventures in Verhanga Savannah. Our goal today is to make it to this outpost over here while unlocking these three uh, specific points of interest over here. And then after that, we may push north. I'm not quite sure which direction we're going to go after this. We'll make our decision once we get there. Our loadout for today is the Malmer 7mm for our class... Uh, four to nine animals our ranger 243 for basically just the the uh the springbok and the side strike jackal jackals and our class one animals will be handled by the 22 defender long or the 22 long rifle defender handgun we have our sunberg 454 for our self defense against anything that happens to get in close to us and uh that's pretty much it uh, I do want to say thank you very much for those of you who have decided to join and subscribe, or just who have decided to subscribe to the channel. You have helped push me to the point where I am getting really close to, uh, you know, real YouTube status. I do have channel memberships available for those of you who have an interest in supporting the channel. So don't forget to like, subscribe, do all those cool things, and click that join button just so you can see what perks would be available if you joined. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get on our way i'm gonna head over to actually this one first and we'll just kind of do a zigzag pattern and see what kind of trouble we can get into today okay well we got ourselves a uh little female wildebeest here not really trying to do too much with her so we'll just headshot her bring her down real quick because i don't want to have to chase her too much mostly just went to do that to get the money um, I did want to uh, try to remember to start saying at the beginning of this that uh, if you are a follower of the channel and you want to have a voice in which reserve we go to next, I do have a poll available over on my Discord. You head over to my Discord using the link below, head over to the video polls channel, and leave a thumbs up uh, reaction on the reserve that you would like to see. So be sure to head over there. If you would like to, uh, you know, vote on which reserve we go to once we're done unlocking all of this. <laughs> uh, I typically uh, don't worry about necessarily getting every animal. I'm mostly interested in exploring the map and the hunting along the way is just the fun part, you know. So let's head over to whatever this next point of interest is and we'll continue grabbing things as we go. Uh, we got a Cape Buffalo here. Totally was not expecting that. Not really the way we're supposed to do that. That's our first cape. That's our first cape buffalo for this particular uh, map, or first cape bu cape buffalo ever. Oh wow, it's a gold already. Okay. I heard a female call, and then a male ran at us. So that's that's cool. Uh, we're definitely gonna we're definitely gonna um, uh, tax this guy because <laughs> put him in the lodge. How fortuitous! I was not expecting there to be a Cape Buffalo here right now. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know where where they are on the map, so you know, I did, there was no way for me to know when to start expecting those guys. All right, well, let's continue on our way. Maybe we'll be able to grab a couple more as we go. Oh, just look at that beautiful sunrise. There's nothing going on. I just wanted you guys to see the beautiful sunrise. <laughs> I'm walking through this valley here and. You know, just like the end of the day, this beginning of the day is just, it's so pretty with the contrast between the light and the dark. I love walking through, I love, I love seeing, like in real life, it's obviously much, much more pretty, but this game does a really good job of putting you in that sense of the times of day that you go through, and especially the morning and the evenings. Ugh, so good. So we're going to, I'm just going to leave you guys here as we walk up this hill over here, because we're pretty close to whatever this is going to be, and uh, this little sunset, this little sunrise is really nice. All right, we're close enough to actually see the question mark now, so let's find out what we got going on over here. Probably going to be a hunting stand. Looks like a nice big open space. Yep, at, a, at the top of a high spot, at the top of a high place. So let's go ahead and run our way over in this direction then. And then as we crest the hill over here, we'll do a quick sweep of 
the area to make sure there's nothing that we can get from far away. It's one of the big things I like about this map is that there's plenty of opportunities to take long range shots at things. It's very satisfying. All right, well, it doesn't look like the, oh, never mind. Let me get over here. I thought this grass was in the way. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Anything here? Nope, 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 nope. Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like it. All right, well, then off we go to the next waypoint. Well, I already spooked off the male that was over here, but maybe we can take a shot at this female here. Money in the bank. All right. Um, let's go ahead and sprint over here, and maybe we'll be able to see the male before it goes away. There was a male in here. I don't know where he, he's probably already he's already over the hill. Well, I hit it. I don't know. We'll see. So it looks like we got this one here. So that's cool. I just, I just, I just want to wait a second. Yeah, we did get that one. All right, cool. So uh, let me, we'll go, I'll just harvest this female. She's not going to be much. And then I'll go track down that male and we'll see what we got. I didn't get a chance to, I didn't really look at the spotting thing before I, uh, before I shot at him. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm really not liking this. I, I, really, I wish they would just give you skill points and perk points until you max out. This, this uh, having to wait two or three levels now is kind of annoying. <laughs> All right, I'll be back in a second. Should be up here somewhere. Uh, can we see this guy from here? Uh, that's annoying. Where is... Oh, that's not good. Just trying to find that initial hit. Oh, non-vital organ. So he did go down. But even if he ends up being a good one, that's not going to be that good. Uh, how quickly is he going? He's, he's going down. Really, oh, he's right over here. All right. Well, I guess we'll... Uh, that's going to suck if he was like a gold or something. We already have... A, I already have a lesser kudu in the lodge. I'm not that worried about it. But it's just it's frustrating to do that. All right. He wasn't even anything anyway. That's fine. All right. Well, we'll continue our journey along towards the waypoint over here. I keep getting warthog calls over here. I'm really hoping I can spot one out in the open because we have not. We haven't even killed one of those yet, I don't think. So I don't remember killing one. So hopefully we can catch one of these guys out in the open. That would be pretty sweet. All right. Well, there isn't really anything else in this valley to shoot at. So we might as well take this guy. He is... You know, he'll bar he could barely he could barely make gold. Nice. Must have been a double one shot. It's always nice when they go down real quick. Oh, he turned out to be just a little silver, and yep, we did get a double lung shot, so I think the Oh. Oh wait, very easy. I saw the saw that I saw the difficulty over here. I saw three, and I was like, "Wait a minute, how did I get a?" a no, no, that's the difficulty level, not the class. Duh. <laughs> that's why he went down so quick, though, because I'm using I'm using I'm basically using something that is can kill things twice the size of him. So that's why he probably that's probably why he went down so fast. We're getting over here towards the edge of the map. That's cool. Nice big river over there. Okay, um, I don't want to get stuck on this terrain over here, so I'll run up the side and then down over the other way over there, and hopefully we'll find out whatever this is over here. It's probably a hunting stand, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to know what this is going to be, because it's clearly down at the bottom of this cliff here. <laughs> uh, what's, what's this going to be? How? That doesn't make any sense. Something is off here, because I'm looking straight down. We may not be able to get whatever this is. That's super weird. That's going to bug me if I'm not able to unlock that. Hmm. 
All right. Well, I really want to get a warthog, so I'm gonna stalk over this way, and I'll bring you guys back when I if I see one. Okay. It just looks like there's a couple of them over here. I don't. I haven't seen. All right. Here we go. Oh, he's all right. He's he's one. I can get him to turn correctly. They went down easy. Hit that one. Okay. Well, hopefully that's going to be our uh, our gold uh, warthog. Now the question is, can I get down from here? Nope. Um, I'm thinking this may be like a cave in here somewhere. But I'm going to die if I try to go down this way. So I'm not sure what the play is here. Maybe come down around this way, but I'm not. I'm. I just. I don't know. I don't know this area yet, so I don't know what the way down is. I don't want to just. Well, we're gonna send it, and hopefully, for, we'll hope for the best. I'm hoping I can just kind of come down this way. Are there any? Are there gonna be, are there gonna be any animals down here on the beach? I think you can get Kate Buffalo over, over here, right? If I've watched, I've watched other other YouTubers. They come over here to drink. I think they do. All right, let's hope. Let's hope that we can control our descent down here, because I really want to go get that. I really want to go get the that warthog, so we can find out if he actually turns out to be a gold. He was well into the gold range, so I'm gonna be pretty excited if that's gonna be our first, our first uh, taxed, definitely our first taxed uh, warthog. But I don't know if it's gonna be. Our first warthog. I don't remember if we've shot one yet. I think I've taken shots at warthogs, but I don't think we've actually gotten one yet. So let's go find out what we got. Okay, here is our first one. Yes, that did turn out to be a gold. Okay, um, so for scoring purposes, I need to find that. He is a warthog. We have ourselves a 49.73. That is a gold. A gold. There we go. And I, yeah, I'm pretty sure we got a lesser kudu on here, right? Uh, antelope, lesser kudu. Oh, I have a couple of lesser kudu on here uh, that I've harvested. I need to go write the number in for that because I have not done that yet. We got this guy with a nice double lung shot, it looks like. And a little bit of spine, too. Very nice. All right. So we're definitely taxing this guy. Be done with that. Oh, an experienced senior warden. Uh, I can't read what the achievement is, but it's a steam achievement. And it looks like we did go. We we did get that uh, second one. So let's uh, find the blood the blood trail for that. I think we shot this one further back, but I don't remember. I'll just use the dog. For those of you who uh, wonder why I don't use a dog very much, it's because he has. I, I tend to be able to find animals faster than he can, and it's situations like this where I really start to use him because uh, no organs hit, but we still got a kill. Huh. Well, yeah, I guess I guess when we're only shooting at class four animals with a with a round that goes all the way up to class nine, you know, you can afford to miss a little bit. <laughs> but. Uh, I, he's, I find him to be the most useful when I can't initially find a track. Once I find it and I can highlight it, it's it's it, he's it's uh, it's super easy after that. But sometimes I just have a, I really struggle to find tracks in the first place. So he's super useful for that because he just kind of homes in on it. Uh, where do you go? All right. So yeah, I'll finish. Oh, looks like we're gonna have some Kate Buffalo over here somewhere. Huh. Oh, here's our warthog. Okay. Alright, let's praise him. Have him heal so he stops barking. Because I don't want to listen to all that. Okay, yeah. Females don't appear to get a trophy rating at all. But she's a little bit of cash. And it didn't really take us that much time to do it. So, I'm going to run back over here around the base of the mountain. To see if maybe there's a cave I can go into to get into whatever this is. Because it says it's underground. So I'll look around for a minute, bring you guys back once I've figured out the situation, or if I, when I once I've determined that it's some kind of weird bug that uh, it's not working correctly, <laughs> which is entirely possible. Ah, my suspicions were correct. I think this looks like a big, massive cave that we need to run into to go find out what it is. So 
Um, while I would normally cut out long widths of walking, I'll let you guys enjoy the ambiance of this cave as we approach it and enter it and all of that. It's a big freaking cave. Okay. Not the first cave we've come to, though. I mean, there were caves in Hirschfelden, too. And I think Leighton, I think Leighton had a small one. Oh, this is cool. Dude, look at this. Oh, this is the perfect thing to have here in this cave. Look at that. Ugh. I like history, so seeing stuff, I, I, know, I know this is, this is, you know, obviously this is ancient cave paintings, but that's cool. I'm really glad they chose to include this in here. Let's find out what the uh, let's find out what the information has to say about this, and we'll make sure we keep it in the background, kind of. Oh, oh, we get a nice little picture there. These sand paintings date back one th uh, ten thousand years to about eight thousand BC. They show hunters and antelopes naturally. Hunting was your only option for a career in those days. <clears throat> These paintings show that certain aspects of sand life have persisted longer than any other civilization or society. But the most remarkable is the but most remarkable is the fact that we can see these at all. Ancient humans working with nothing but the plants and minerals around them concocted dye, which has lasted centuries of weathering. How could we ever call such people primitive? That is super cool. The fact that the developers, you know, I know it's I know it seems kind of obvious, but this is the kind of thing that most developers, you know, would overlook because they're focused on the gameplay and making the terrain beautiful. And the fact that somebody thought to come in here and just put a cave painting in here, just, you know, to add to the flavor of the map, that is awesome. This is why this game is as good as it is, and it's why people like it as much as they do. It's because, it's because of these little attention to detail things that, come, that just, that's awesome. All right, well, we got about a kilometer, a little over a kilometer to get over to the uh, outpost over here. So we'll see how long it takes us to get there, depending on how many uh, animals we end up running across. Well, we got some Cape Buffalo over here, but I don't think I'm gonna get a shot at him. And I can't, I, oh, I was, I was going to say, I can't spot him to find out how good of a hit I got on him. I, I did hit him, but I don't know. We'll have to find out. We'll have to wait and find out what happened. Did he go down? I don't know. I don't even know. He looks like a, he looked a different color than the other ones, but I have no idea if that's like a rare color or it's, it was just a color. <laughs> yeah, he didn't go down. And our outpost is actually up over this way because, so we, we ended up having to come all the way down this way anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and change up our destination, head over here to grab this, and then we'll come back and grab the outpost to finish out the video. So I think that's probably the best way to go. So let me get over to the top of this hill. We'll see if we can see any of those. The, the Cape Buffalo went off that way. I just want to get to the top of the hill really quick and see. Oh, no, they're right over here. See if maybe I can get another shot at one. So it'd be nice to be able to grab two for the lodge today. But it doesn't look like this terrain is going to cooperate because there's a bunch of tall grass here. I don't know how. F I mean, the buffalo don't run very fast. You can usually just run them down, but I don't know. The Cape Buffalo could be different. Hmm, I wonder where they went. Well, I don't see anything. And my priority is not necessarily hunting down Cape Buffalo. It's exploring the map at this point. So later on, when I start actually doing serious uh, money grinding here, I'll go find Cape Buffalo and um, see if hunting them down the way I did the uh, bison over on over on uh, Hirschfelden works the same way, but I don't know. We need to get up this hill over to this waypoint, and then we'll head over to the outpost. All right, looks like there's plenty of animals over here. And a bunch of wildebeest. Oh. What is that? Okay, so it looks like this is a drinking time for the wildebeest over here. What do we got? Trivial... Very easy. Okay, what do we got over here? We got anything? We have anything that's really worth running over there to grab? I've I've shot a bunch. The wildebeest and the gemsbok here are just like all over the place. So 
not super concerned with those. Um, I don't necessarily want to spook these guys because it might make everybody else run away. But, ooh, what is this? Eh. Nah. Okay. So I think I, want, I wanted to see if there was anything else over here, but it doesn't, it doesn't, A, it doesn't look like it, and B, I don't want to... I don't want to spook these guys right here in front of me because I can't see them. So uh, let's just find the best guy over here. It looks like very easy is about all we're going to get for these guys. So I'll just pick the one that has the, the uh, best profile here. Maybe we'll try to take a shot at another one as it's drinking. Maybe this one here. If I can get this one to do its drinking animation, we can take a shot at this one and then probably grab this one too but it just wants to sit there and stare at me. Come on. Come on. All right, I don't know. Well, the, the recoil is gonna throw me this way anyway, so maybe it makes more sense to go after this one here. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Nope, I, I was already, ooh. It's the first time I've seen a duck. Uh, part of me wants to try to go for that. Uh, part of me wants to try to go for that. Nah. We'll take, the, we'll take the money. All right, so I'm gonna shoot this guy. I'll get kicked over this way, and then we'll come over and get this guy, hopefully, before they run. I need to make sure he's in a drinking animation before I do that, though. So he needs to go down. Okay, here we go. Okay, looks like that one went down pretty much instantaneously. Let's see what else is running over here. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll run off to the left there and give me a shot. Nope, level two, not for two. Uh, that one's not bad. Okay, we got him. So the trick to hitting moving targets, if you have the opportunity, is to place your cursor kind of in front of them and wait for them to run where you think the bullet will hit them. Moving as you're shooting at them is very diff is very difficult to do. That is a that is a video game and a real world tactic. <clears throat> in the Marine Corps, that's how they teach you to hit uh, moving targets. Estimate, uh, put, place your place your crosshair in front of where you think they're going to be once you once you're ready to take your shot, and then pull the trigger when when you think the timing is going to be right. So. Uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm spacing out. I need to cut here so that you guys don't have to watch me walking around like this. <laughs> All right, here's our first, our second one that we shot. Oh, he turned out to be a gold. I don't know how many of these guys. I, I've already used up pretty much all of my uh, saves for my harvests here. Um, I don't know that I necessarily want to bring roe deer over into the... I think I'm going to start replacing these because... Um, I'm going to leave the Leighton Lakes Lodge kind of the way it is, unless I go back and find diamonds and then I can just swap those out. I think I'm going to keep Saseki for uh, here and then maybe Emerald Coast because the theme still kind of fits. So for some of these, I'm going to go ahead, especially these road deer. I don't really give a crap about the road deer. I'm going to save some of these because I want to be able to make like multi mounts later on that have like a bunch of animals on it. So let's go ahead. We'll overwrite this uh, road deer here. No, I'm not particularly interested in it. And then uh, we'll grab the cash for him. Uh, and then this one just pretty much fell right, fell down right where we hit him. So that's good. I shot, I shot, um, didn't I shoot three? So this guy went down quick. I like his color, so we'll save him too. I'd like to have, I'd like to set it up so that I have several different colors of things as we go. So. Um, where's that other? Wasn't there a second roe deer? Oh, was it a red deer? Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. I need to start making some multi mounts out of these guys if I have the opportunity to, because I don't want to continue. I mean, I guess I can always go back and get more roe deer. Okay. So I hit this guy here. 
And then I think I hit this other guy over here. He must have went down pretty quick. So I'm guessing this over here was the third one that I hit. So let's run over here real fast and see if we can find that sweet, sweet vital blood. And then uh, we'll make a decision as to how we're going to follow that guy. Or if we're going to follow that guy. Where is... Uh, no organs hit. Hmm... Gemsbach, I got plenty of those guys. Let's see, 75 to 100. If the next blood trail doesn't go down, I'm not following it. It's just gonna take too long to get there. All right. Uh, so we've unlocked this as a hunting stand. We need to make our way all the way over there to the uh, outpost, and then we'll head over to the uh, Saseki Lodge to put our animals into mounts over there. So I'll be back in just a bit. I just want to stop and take a second that it, that some, one of the frustrating things right now, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's by design. Maybe these ducks ha, uh, make their noise at a frequency that's impossible, like that's impossible to tell where it's coming from. Because I know there are certain sounds that you, you just, you, you're not going to get a direction from it because the pitch just does not work for direction. I'm, I'm thinking maybe the ducks work this way. I have never, I have not once on this entire map, no matter how many times I hear ducks making noise, I have never gotten a, a uh, visual indicator for direction. So let me know in the comments if you know anything about that. Is that, is that like, a, are they trying to make that a true to life kind of thing where you can hear them, but you can never quite make out where they are? Because I have not once ever gotten a visual indicator. There's some ducks over here somewhere. I can tell they're off to my left some in some in some form or fashion over here, but I never get a visual spotting kind or a visual uh, a visual cue a visual cue. So that's one of the reasons why you know spotting these guys are so hard for me because they're always making noise. I hear them all the time, but I never get a visual cue, and they're always in trees and stuff, so I'm never able to find them. It's kind of frustrating. <laughs> And here we are at the outpost. So we'll grab this real quick, head over to the lodge, and put a couple of animals onto our mounts. It's an interesting place to put a lodge. Kind of sucks that the trees are like this. You can't see out way out that way. But uh, yeah, I do. I do kind of want to walk over here. Uh, yeah, they're not going to give you. Well, maybe. Maybe once we get on the other side of these bushes. I was hoping, I was, I was like, I'm hoping I'm going to get a really good view over here. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can come over here, get a view of that. Run your binoculars along, along the shoreline there to see if there maybe there's any Cape Buffalo just kind of hanging out. All right. Well, we've had enough of hunting for today, so let's head over to the lodge and see what we can put on the stand. I still need to figure out the whole multi-mount thing. I think we have enough animals at this point that we can start putting some things into multi-mounts. I have enough wildebeest and I think Gemsbach and stuff like that to make at least one or two of those. So let's, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to leave the lions here like this because that's a super impressive way to walk into the, uh, to walk into here. But, uh... Like, I'm pretty sure this could probably be a multi-mount. I think that's how that works. I think some of these bigger ones can be multi-mounts, but like this this one here should definitely be able to be a multi-mount. Uh, let's see, I'm not really sure. Hmm. Like I want is, uh, so can, you can't, it doesn't seem like you can make the multi-mount from here. You have to make it from here. Do we have the animals required to make any of these multi-mounts? Uh, it would be nice. Oh, that's cool. I think we're probably gonna try to put, we have the Cape Buffalo that we need. We just need two lions, to, or three, uh, two, a male, one male and one male and two female lions to put here. Do I have any lions? All right, so we're going to have to try to work on that. So I think what we'll do is, is we'll swap the trophy out for this guy. We'll put the blue wildebeest here for, or I'm sorry, we'll put the, uh, we'll put, uh, um, I was going to say, our cape buffalo. I know we had a cape buffalo. <laughs> you can't tell me we didn't have a cape buffalo. We definitely had a cape buffalo. All right. So let's put him down in a 
as interesting a pose as we can find. So one of my goals needs to be... Hmm, I don't like any of these poses that... Um, I'd like to get an aggressive kind of horns down pose, but it doesn't seem like they're going to provide that. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll just we'll kind of do like that, I guess. I don't know. And then, so do we have any? Do we have any of these ones that do wildebeest? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through and like figure out what I need for all of these because that's this is unfortunate. Hmm. They need they need to add some sorting options in here so you can figure so you don't have to click through each one to figure that out. All right, our warthog. I think can it fit here? I doubt it. Oh, it can. All right, so we'll place our warthog right here. That's cool. We'll rotate him around this way. Find a cool pose for. Um, I actually kind of like that. Maybe I don't know. No, I don't want him jumping around like that. I just want him to be kind of aggressive. That looks kind of cool. And then, what else did we get? Let's see. Is there another thing? We, uh, that was the only thing that we could put on that one, right? So, what else do we have here that we can put down? We'll put our, we'll put this blue wildebeest here. I'll, I'll finish putting all of this stuff off camera. Hopefully, you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you did and sends the video out to more viewers. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your video feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it's available. Um, and as I stated before, we do have channel memberships available now. So uh, if you have an interest in supporting the channel, be sure to consider clicking that join button down below the video so that you can um, gain access to special perks that are not available to the average viewer. Once you click that join button, it will give you a description of what you will get and how much it costs. So be sure to click that button so you can find out what's going to happen. So anyways, hopefully you guys had fun. Be sure to come back for the next one, and I will see you then. Bye, guys.